I'm Dan, and I'm going to do things as Dan does. It's not Dan doesn't, it's Dan does. Eventually. I know it's been a while since I did a video, but uh, this is Dan doing the, the doings on Dan does. Not Dan doesn't. Dan doesn't is another channel. And you should watch that channel because he does nothing. It's literally a guy dressed like this, shrugging his shoulders. Anyway, today I've um, I've decided to make uh, a swarm, a swarm of flies. Now, Biden Varzik is full of flies, so I've made lots of flies. Do hang around for the end where I'll reveal all of the flies in their full glory. It's probably not the right word. Uh, thank you for watching. Enjoy the show. Hello, welcome to episode four. Today I'm making a swarm of flies, specifically binding of Isaac flies, and this is going to be in four stages, starting with easy, easy, all the way through to expert, which is in fact not expert at all, but you need to have these different levels for it to seem impressive. Uh, we're going to start with the simplest fly, and we're going to use these uh, BB pellets. Now, if experience has taught us anything, flies tend to fly, so I've purchased these uh, clear acrylic lollipop sticks from the Amazon, and we're going to be using these. Now, you're going to need these uh, pokey prongs, uh, because these BBs are tiny and fiddly, and if you have a Andre the Giant hands, as I do, you might find this quite difficult without them. We are going to harness the uh, man's original invention of fire, and we're going to use this to take that sheen off the BB so it's easy to paint and to uh, have fun doing it. Do this in a well ventilated room with a respirator on your face and try not to burn anything down. Do not burn the BB for too long or it will melt. And if you burn everything for too long, people will die. So, you know, go easy. Using uh, an emery board, gonna sand one side of the BB so it is flat and can be flush with the acrylic uh, rod. With your, your flush edges, it should fit lovely and satisfyingly snug. And also use a, a pin vise to make tiny little indentations for where the, for where the wings are going to go later on. Spoilers! Now, in case you haven't already figured it out, this is uh, the, the very basic attack fly from Biden Visek, the, the easiest enemy there is. Uh, we're going to need black paint for that. Now, in this busy busy futuristic world that we live in, we do not have time to wait for paint to dry. I mean, who's in charge? Us or the paint? So I'm going to blast it with this heat gun. Now, with the cheapest superglue known to humanity, attach the uh, painted BB to the acrylic rod. And there you go. A wingless fly, otherwise known as a raisin. That's right, kids. Flies without wings are raisins. Enjoy your lunch. Going to use a bit of... Uh, translucent Fimo clay and press it down on a uh, flap scraper. Uh, we're going to press that down to make a flat sheet, but not too thin so it will break, but not too fat to look amateurish. And uh, once that's flat enough, use the heat gun once more to cook it. We don't need to use ovens. We can just use a heat gun, unless you don't have a heat gun, in which case use your oven. If you don't have an oven, then pray for a sunny day, because Lord knows there's been plenty of those recently. Now, if you're in prison and you're doing an art class, but you, you think maybe a bit of trouble on the horizon, what do you need? That's right, we need our art shivs. And we can use the art shiv to carve out tiny wings for our attack flies. I mean, it's quite fiddly, but when you've been inside for as long as I have, you can cut the penis off a spider. Give the wing a sand with the emery board and then attach it to the back of the fly with some super glue using the indentations we made earlier with the pin vise. I've only made one wing, but um, I don't know about you, but if I stare at something long enough, it will multiply in a very awkward transitional cut. It's time to bring out our lovely, lovely UV resin. I'm going to use this to cover the fly and the wings, to lock those wings in and to give the fly a nice, fresh out of the shower look. <laughs> Unbeknownst to you, the viewer, I have made uh, several of these flies. Uh, some of them red, in attack mode. I have made... One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-
of them. And using a small circular wooden disc, I make holes. After a quick lick of black paint for the base, that's this model done. You can see the results at the end, if you would kindly wait around, thank you. On to the second of the flies in our four part fly special. Intermediate. The intermediate section. We're going to make two different ones here of the same genus. Rolling out two small balls of cosplay and then forming them into a tear shape. And then using some Super Sculpey Bacon Bond, attach two small balls as heads to the flies. Next, take out your terror needle and poke this thing in, in the butt. Uh, give it a nice deep butt hole where it will be spitting uh, blood and poison at young Isaac. And then uh, we've got this new thing here. Because pins were cracking in the, the oven, the plastic pins, I've got some ball bearings. A lovely set of ball bearings that I will hardly ever use. But it's nice to know that if anybody has any ball bearing needs, I'm your man. Ball stick. Take out your ball stick and make two eye sockets for the fly. Ready for the selected ball bearings to be popped in. Ease the entry and ensure a secure hold with a little bit of uh, Super Sculpey Bacon Bond in those sockets. Uh, if you haven't already figured it out, this is the Pooter and the Super Pooter from uh, Biden of Isaac. Both near enough the same, so one slightly fatter and wrinklier. Leaving one relatively untouched, with the other take out the pointy, rubbery, silicony tool thing and start making creases in it. This one is the Super Pooter, uh, the wrinklier one, and he has slightly larger eyes, so going to my ball bearing box, uh, already paying for itself, I'm going to sl select two slightly larger ball bearings and the Pooter. And once those eyes are in, and given a quick isopropyl alcohol rub, uh, bake it. Getting slightly behind here. I'm not sure if I can catch up. I'm going to try my best. Uh, I've had more than one comment um, suggesting that I should use a script. So uh, I, have, I have tried my best to appease you. I have a script here. Uh, let's go. Exterior, late 1942, the Sahara Desert day. Silence, the desert seen from the air, an ocean of dunes for mile after mile. The late sun turns the sand every colour from crimson to black. An old aeroplane... It... This is the... Uh, this is the script for uh, the English patient. Why have I got this? Anyway, uh, the Super Pooter I am painting uh, brown rose. Everybody's favourite colour rose. And the Pooter is grey. The heads are black, the eyes are off-white. We're all caught up now. I don't need to walk you through this. I mean, technically this is a crafty walkthrough. But I'm going to credit you with some initiative. Though I will mention I found a much better technique for making the wings. I use tiny balls and press them down so they're already into the, in the round shape. So we don't have to cut them later on. Just, just whittle the end slightly. And there they both are, looking like a scene from the Blair Witch. I'm going to use some UV resin to coat the wings and secure them in place. And then take an acrylic rod, cut it at a slight angle. Cut it at a slight angle so we can attach it to the back. And then we're going to attach that to a base. A lot of these processes are the same for a lot of these flies. So I figured we could just sort of get to know each other a bit better later on, instead of going through all the processes. Uh, there you go, as before, there's the pooter, and you can see the full results at the end. God, I'm such a tease. Uh, Congratulations, you've made it to the advanced level, which uh, isn't strictly that advanced. Not any more than the, the last level, but you know, you can't go easy, intermediate, intermediate, intermediate. You have to go up. Take out your metal beak and trim some pins. These are um, push pins. Use these for eyes on a ball of cos clay. A little tip when snipping pins. Stick the end of the pin into your cutting mat. If you don't then the pin can go anywhere. Potentially into one soup or into a wedding suit that will not be discovered until a wedding eventually comes along where you'll get a nasty pinch. Please be careful. 
ball stick time again. We're going to use the ball stick to give this fly its O face. Uh, children, if you do not know what an O face is, please do ask your parents. Using a doll sized pepper army length of cosplay, going to, uh, going to make some lips. We're going to make this thing pout. Uh, by the way, this fly is a red boom fly. If you'd seen my previous video, this showcase video, you would have seen that I've already made a, uh, a boom fly. Uh, but this is the red version, who is slightly um, moodier. Slightly moody looking. Ooh, indeed, tiny fly. We're going to give you some cheeks with uh, two little tiny balls of cosplay. And uh, once, we, once we've done the cheeks and blended them in with the rubbery silicony tall things, we're going to give you a, a brow. Uh, because you are slightly more serious than your black counterpart. What troubles have you seen? Tiny boom fly, you can tell us. Here is the brow as promised. My god, look at you, you, you have seen some shit. Maybe one day you can tell us. Uh, but until then, we will craft blissfully ignorant of your pain. Using this homemade texture tool, we're going to give this uh, red boom fly a, a bit of texture. Uh, but not too much, just a little. And after a quick rub down with isopropyl alcohol, it's ready to bake. Flies have six legs. That, uh, a bit of trivia for you there. Uh, so I'm going to need to make six holes with a pin vise, ready for its tiny little fly legs. When the six holes are done, spaced evenly around the fly's torso, uh, I'm going to use this I think it's garden wire or floral wire, some kind of floral wire because it has a, a rubber coating which is essential for the painting process. Paint doesn't stick to metal very well, despite old Warhammer miniatures telling you differently. With your crappy super glue, stick the, uh, the little bits of wire in the hole and then snip two sides. Now you can give this fly long legs, short legs, bendy legs, whatever you, whatever you want. But I mean, if you want it to actually look like the red boom fly, then um, do relatively short legs like I have here. I mean, I don't need to tell you what to do with your insect legs. You are entirely your own person. I mean, you don't even need to make a fly. Uh, you, you can make whatever you want. A sandwich, a vase, um, a bus. I mean, the list is endless. With cosplay, you can make literally tens of things. Probably. I mean, I've only ever really made flies. Anyway. Well, that went off on a tangent, didn't it? I mean, I could recall the, the, the voiceover again, but I won't. All of this is one take, because it is very warm in this room. So, in and out, that's my motto. Using Rojo Sanguina, or Bloody Red. Uh, I'm going to paint this thing. Uh, get nice, nice overall ready bloody coat on the thing. Bloody, bloody coat. And using a bit of brown rose, and use the brown rose to mix with the blood red to give it some highlights. Then black for the eyes, and uh, black for the legs. Yada yada yada. Are you seeing a pattern here? I'm sure you are. But please do stick around. Plenty more to come. It's not all uh, a repeat or repetitive. Uh, there, there is... Um, I'm trying to think what's to come now. You've made it this far. And my agent has stressed to me that I must make clear the fact that I love you for it. So uh, I love you for hanging around this long. Thank you very much. Is that alright? Yeah, he's nodding. Two more wings like before, I needn't show you how to make those, and we're on to our last expert project of the night, uh, Baby Plum. 
uh, everybody likes Baby Plum. And technically not really expert, but as I said before, uh, you can't just have one easy and three intermediates. Baby Plum is a chunky boy, so uh, rolled up Tim Fall as the center, the core, so to speak, which we will then uh, compare to Isaac's head if you have an Isaac, otherwise just use your own judgment. If you'd like to make your own Isaac, then please uh, look back at my very first video where I show you how to make him. Get him a sling blade. Have some French wrap potatoes. Ready to cut out some cosplay. Now the tin foil is to save on cos clay. Uh, it's not like the the planet is made of clay. Actually, come to think of it, quite a lot of the Earth is clay. But it's not cos clay, because if it was, the Earth would of course remain flexible after being baked. Get out the old pasta maker that has never ever been used to make pasta. I mean, we can buy it for about twelve pence. Why would you need to make your own? I'm going to use this to get a nice even sheet to wrap around the ball to fatten Baby Plum up. And you want to make sure that the layer is thick enough to be able to carve a mouth and to add eyes later on. Spoilers! Now I'm trying my utmost to make this ball as smooth as possible because uh, I've noticed in close-up shots before that there have been a few dents and it's really upset me. And Baby Plum is supposed to be adorable and to be adorable we can't have wrinkles, because let's face it, the elderly aren't cute. At all. Sorry, elderly. I got a new set of uh, pushpins from the Amazon. All the same size as the ones I've been using for all of the Isaac figures, and uh, I won't be running out anytime soon. And I have a choice of lovely metallic colours. Not that it makes any difference. And there we have it, Baby Plum. Thank you for watching, everybody. I uh, hope to see you next time. <laughs>
on with the show. I'll be uh, I'll be honest with you, the bake wasn't necessarily needed then, but I think I had to do something. So I thought I'm not going to get any dents in this lovely smooth baby plum. I'll, I'll bake it now and add the legs later, which I'm going to do now. So with a large brutvest of uh, cos clay, I'm going to cut it into four equal parts. Roll them into balls, use them as feet, blend them in. You you won't even know that I've baked this twice by the end. I'm assuming it will, it will hold tightly to the to the uh, to the torso, and it did. Spoilers. Um, <clears throat> we got a little dead air here uh, while I, while I uh, attach these feet and, and arms. Are they legs and arms, or are they, are they all legs? I don't really know. What What is Baby Plum? Because a fly has six legs, we've established this. Baby Plum has four stumps. Uh, we're trying to find logic in a very rudimentary cartoon designed character. But we, we did just fill up about 30 seconds worth of footage, so thank you very much. Uh, give yourselves a pat on the back, everybody. Now the painting for Baby Plum is going to be very much the same as the uh, red boomfly. Some rojo sanguine. Bloody red. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Uh, as, as the base coat, then some uh, lovely Romantic brown rose. If you love somebody, give them a brown rose. Uh, we're going to mix that in with the red to use as highlights. I mean, Baby Plum is bigger than the, the red boom fly, so you really should add a bit more detail to this one. And then black for the eyes, black for inside the mouth. And uh, that's pretty much it for the painting. Uh, Baby Plum has one tooth, which is cute. A child has one cu a tooth, it's cute. An elderly person has one tooth, it's horrific. Uh, I don't make the rules, everybody. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm 40 years old, I'm, I'm elderly myself. I don't know what's wrong with me. So make the one tooth much like the wings, but fatter with the translucent... Uh, Fimo, trim it to shape, stick it in with a bit of crappy super glue, then use a sepia shade mainly around the base of the gum to imply poor dental hygiene. Making the wings at the same stuff as I've done with all the other wings, except these ones are larger, and I'm using this gnome spear to uh, carve some details into these wings. Because they are larger, you're going to see more of them. and then use the same sepia shade to bring out that detail. I'm going to give you one brief spin of Baby Plum, but um, I'll show you all of the flies that I've made on this video in just a few moments. Thank you for watching. Enjoy the showcase. After I give it a bit of a UV resin on the eyes, the tooth and the wings. Thank you.
Thank you for hanging around to the end of the video. I know a lot of you don't, and I completely understand, because I do the same thing sometimes. You know, you see the end product and then you're out. Busy lives. Uh, but thank you, those of you that are still there. You're my favourites. Um, these are the things. Got the, uh, the pooter and the super pooter. <sighs> Just to give you scowl against my giant head. The very simple, oh, sorry, Plum. The very simple flies, they're the attack flies. There they are. Uh, we've got the a little miserable looking um, red boom fly. And you'll notice I chucked in, I chucked in the regular boom fly, because I did make that before, and it was on the showcase video. But I thought, you know, he, he goes. He's a fly. And then we've got lovely, Lovely little smooth baby plum. I'm very happy with baby plum. I like him a lot. Well, thank you very much for watching. Um, I'll see you next time. It won't be so long next time, I promise. Yeah, probably. Yeah, it, it won't be so long. Thanks.